Welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we'll be taking a look at the New Balance 550 Silhouette in the gray suede colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. and review if you're new to the channel welcome be sure to hit that subscribe right now give this video a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave those down below hit that notification box we do have a ton of heat coming out that i don't want you to miss out on also be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store today we'll be talking about another colorway for the new balance 550 silhouette this time in the gray suede color scheme so we'll go through the overview jump into size and fit followed by how i style these then conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. Let's jump right into it. So unlike a lot of the other 550 silhouettes, I feel like the majority of this is actually covered in suede material, which makes sense since this is called the gray suede. It is a very light heather gray tone for the suede on the upper here. We do have some light white meshing. And then as we work our way up to the nylon tongue, it is in an off-white colorway. We've got some nice cream hues and some nice accents of that gray for the New Balance branding. And then we've got some nice, just kind of off-white colors for the laces. Let's take a look at those details and move along to the side panel. Our way to the side paneling we pretty much have more of that just nice heather gray suede which covers pretty much the majority of the side paneling working its way all the way to the back of the heel here for the end we do have a nice kind of shiny white end that's outlined in a nice just white color scheme as we work our way to the back we do have more hits of just a simple white colorway for the collar here and then on the other side of the lateral portion of the sneaker we've got the 550 which is outlined in cream with 550 in a nice gray color scheme again that nice kind of shiny end which pops in that white colorway the interior is in a heather gray and white colorway as we work our way to the bottom we've got a white midsole and then it's completed with this nice kind of cream and white outsole all right let's take a look at those last and final details
those of you who follow Ame Leon Dor, they did release a 550 silhouette with the same exact name. It is almost identical. There are some key differences. It is pretty much covered again in this gray suede material. The N is actually gray as well. And instead of having white on the midsole, it also has a bit more of an off-white tone, which completes pretty much the outsole and midsole portion of the sneaker. All right, so as far as size and fit goes, again, this is men's sizing. So I typically go half a size down. I'm typically a seven and a half, but I feel like this 550 tends to run a little bit larger when it is in the men's size range. Uh, so if you do have higher arch narrow feet like myself, definitely stick, uh, don't stick true to size, go half a size down. But if you do have flatter wire feet, that could differentiate something different from my own since we do have different types of feet. So do take that into consideration when deciding on what size will work best for you. All right, so now let's talk about styling. Again, this is a pretty simplistic colorway. I definitely wanted to play with the gray hues in this. So for the first look, I decided to go all gray with a gray sweater and then a nice just pleated mini gray skirt. Definitely think the gray hues will be perfect as far as a monochromatic look with this one. It is freedom that you feel. to bring a little bit of color into the mix. So I decided to wear a mini skirt, which was pink sequins. And for the top, I wore a fuchsia cropped sweater that was a button down. Definitely feel like you should be able to play with some bold colorways with this just because it is such a muted color scheme. And final look, I wore an all Bordeaux look with a Bordeaux bomber jacket, a Bordeaux crew neck with Mount Rainier branding on it, and then a Bordeaux coloring for my cropped or Bordeaux coloring for my cargo pants. Let me know down below what was your favorite look of the career. How would you sell these?
These retailed at $120 and they are currently going between $120 to $200. All right, everyone, that is it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. Be sure to hit that subscribe on your way out. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. Hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of you coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. This is Shay TV. My name is Marcel. We'll catch you all next episode.